Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate it. It does help my channel and I really do appreciate it. Well, this is the headline on this one article here. It says, leaked. New whistleblower points to Hunter Biden's guilty. Okay, the Washington Examiner reported that the FBI has obtained substantial evidence of potential criminal conduct by Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden. According to the report, the agency is investigating his business dealings in Ukraine and China. Senator Chuck Grassley, who previously accused the FBI of mishandling evidence related to Hunter Biden, Biden, Hunter Biden, revealed in a letter that the agency labeled information about the son as disinformation. Disinformation. He sent a letter to the FBI Director Christopher Ray, W-R-A-Y, Way, Ray, and Attorney uh, General Garland, as well as David West, the U.S. Attorney for Delaware, who is overseeing the investigation into Hunter Biden. It was noted that the FBI was aware of the Biden family's interest in doing business in China. In October 2020, Tony Babalunsky, a former Navy man who was Hunter Biden's business associate, went to the agency to provide details about the family's activities in the country. Allegedly, the information included details about the family's activities in China was enough to establish a pay-to-play investigation. However, it is not clear if the FBI conducted the investigation. Hunter and James Biden had been trying to work out deals with the founder of a Chinese company known as CEFC, who has since disappeared in China. Ye, Y-E, Jiaming, Yaming, it's J-I-A-N-M-I-N-G. And that J could be... Um, silent. It could be iron, ironing or that J could be a, a W, I think sometimes. A what I mean is a business tycoon who Hunter and James had tried to work with multiple times. Hunter and James Biden relationship with a Chinese business man was under scrutiny by Republicans. In 2019, Patrick Ho, H-O, his top lieutenant was sentenced to three years in jail after he was found guilty of violating a foreign corruption law. The case against Ho was uh, partly based on evidence obtained through a secret surveillance program. After Ho's arrest, Hunter Biden secured one million legal settlement from him. In a, rec record, in a recording released, on May 11th of 2018, the son of the U.S. president referred to Ho as China's F mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, spy chief. For the situation in Ukraine, Grassley revealed that he was provided with evidence of criminal activity related to Hunter Biden's work for a company called Burisma. Burisma. According to reports, Hunter was paid $50,000 a month to serve on the company's board. Mykola Zoshevsky, Z-L-O-C-H-E-V-S-K-Y, Zoshevsky, the owner of Burishma, is regarded as a corrupt business in Ukraine. In the time between Hunter and Devon Archer's hiring, British authorities had frozen his assets worth over $23 million. <sighs> wow. Well, see? Yeah, it all comes out. But, you know, as many years as they have been doing all this illegal stuff and it's just now coming out look what's passed by you know it's, it's just unreal why wasn't this noted before all this probably years ago 
for heaven's sakes. But it's coming out now, and I don't know why. Is it because of his dad being president? Or his dad being involved? And what's happening to us in the United States of America? Hint, hint, possibly hidden. Like they say, what do they say? Read between the lines. Read between the lines. You better believe it. Well, let's go on and see what else I can come up with. Okay, let's go to Taco Bell. I don't eat there anymore, but I used to love Taco Bell. We don't have Taco Bell here in my little town. We have uh, Taco John's. And they use that compressed, supposed to be hamburger. I don't like it, so I don't eat there. Never have for years. Can't even remember when. Well, well. This might prove to be a little interesting. I don't know. I don't cut everything out here. Okay. I gotta slide this over just a little bit. Make sure I don't lose my camera. Okay, it goes LOL. Taco Bell just blasted AOC for her horrible take. In response to the working class, Congressman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took a shot at Taco Bell by mocking the company's $28 lunch. Boy, that sounds pretty expensive for Taco Bell, don't it? 28 bucks for lunch? Who could afford that? Well, millionaires could. However, she was quickly shut down after being criticized by the people who actually work for the restaurant. According to the Washington Examiner, Scott Martin, the chief invest, investment officer of the Kingsview Partners, criticized how expensive his lunch was during an appearance on Fox Business. He used Taco Bell as an example for how inflation is affecting people. In response to the clip, AOC posted a message on Twitter. She asked her followers if someone is talking politics, eating a $28 of Taco Bell, a meal, $28 uh, meal of Taco Bell in one sitting, then my immediate follow-up question is what their thoughts are on Biden's executive order on cannabis rescheduling. <laughs> so I guess, you know, tit for tat, Whatever. In response, Taco Bell posted a message on its Twitter account which said that 14 burritos cost $2 each. It then asked customers what their $28 order was. Social media influencer Viva Frey, uh, F-R-E-I, criticized the hypocrisy of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez after she wore a $3,000 jacket while fighting for social justice. She posted photos of her and the jacket on Instagram. Since she is from New York, you have to wonder how much money she spends on a lunch out. It's not hard to imagine that $28 is cheap for lunch in the big city. AOC should get in touch with reality and maybe take a field trip to Taco Bell. It just sounds like another example of a liberal East Coast elite being out of touch with the real America. I would say so, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would say so. My goodness sakes alive. Well, this is article new three. A new poll shows Democrats are losing Latino support in droves. A recent poll shows that while Hispanic voters still prefer Democrats over Republicans in the generic congressional vote, the margin between them is less than it has been in the last 10 years. A survey of a thousand Hispanic registered voters conducted in NBC News Telemundo last month found Democrats leading Republicans in the generic congressional vote by 21 points, 54% to 33%. However, that is a drop in dramatic and Democrat support compared to previous election years 
which has been declining in every election cycle over the last decade. Since 2012, Hispanic support for Democrats has declined by 50%. That's half. Ooh. In October 2020, Hispanics preferred Democrats over Republicans by 26-point margarine. During the 2018 de Democrat blue wave, Hispanics favored Democrats by 34-point margarine just weeks before the election. In the fall of 2016, Democrats were favored by 38 points among Hispanic voters. And in 2012, Hispanics preferred Democrats over Republicans by a staggering 42%, doubled what it is this year. While California Hispanics continue to favor Democrats by 30-point margin over Republicans, the same can't be said among Hispanics in Florida. In Florida, Democrats only enjoy a 7-point lead over Republicans among Hispanic voters. The NBC News Telemundo Mundo survey was conducted by Democrat Pollister Hart Research Associates along with Republican pollster Public Opinion Strategies. According to Aileen Cordona Ario from Heart Research, H A R T, Heart Research, in 2022, Republicans enjoyed the highest share of Hispanic support that Hart had ever measured. Public uh, opinions strategies bolstered, bolstered. Bill McIntyre, McIntyre, said a 20-point margin between Democrats and Republicans is a lot better than the GOP after being separated by a 40-point margin. 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 <laughs> In a recent interview, Florida Republican Congresswoman Elvira Salazar, Sal Salazar said the shift from Democrat to Republican shows that Hispanic voters are waking up. The NBC News Telemundo Armando Survey also showed President Biden's approval above water among Hispanics with 51% approving and only 45% disapproving. Well, my goodness. Whatever. I don't know. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned. I might be back. And you are a blessing.